Hi everyone, I'm Nadia. I'm a full-time artist living in England. I also teach children art and creative ideas. Recently, I started giving free online lessons to help families like mine cope with self-isolation. All the lessons are recorded live and uploaded to this channel. There is a link in the description, so please feel free to join my art group. Hope to see you there! Hello everyone, my name is Nadia and this is my little assistant Sophia. How old are you Sophia? Uh, she's nearly four, but she's three yet. Today we are drawing uh, elephants. Uh, this is the example that we did with Sophia. And uh, as you can see, uh, th this painting has lots of splashes, many, many splashes. Uh, that's how they, they made, we made them. So we didn't draw them with pencil or brush. We, uh, we, did, we did these elephants just with splashes. And uh, I personally love splashes. I paint my, my own paintings with splashes. And I want to show you some of the examples, how I use splashes in my paintings. I do big, big paintings, like this. This one is framed. And uh, you see, uh, if you look at the trees, I don't know how big your screens are, but these trees uh, have lots of splashes. They're quite small splashes. So if your screen is big, you, you might see them. And uh, I have a different painting which has bigger splashes. This is the painting of the autumn. Do you see how many spl splashes I used there? I had lots of fun creating them. So I'm just... Uh, you can create real, real art with this technique. It's not just for kids, it's for everyone. I take white piece of paper, I'll paint it black together with you. I advise you to stick it with the tape to either your table or whatever you're working on. Uh, we are sticking it with the tape because when we paint it with uh, black paint, uh, paper may go wavy because, uh, because the uh, paint is wet. So we don't want that. We, we want it to keep as straight and as flat as possible. Okay, and the last side. Now take your black acrylic. I use always acrylic. I love acrylics because they are very bright. And uh, any well, actually, as you already know, I like putting my paint. If you use a tube directly on the paper. But if you paint in a little container, you take brush and take it off the container and uh, just continue uh, painting it with the brush. But don't use water, please. Try to just stretch the color across the paper because we, we need it to get dry very quickly. But as, as, as soon as you mix it with water, it takes many minutes to dry. So I just take paint straight off the tubes and I stretch it across the paper so it gets dry very quickly. Uh, I don't want to leave any puddles of paint. Uh, stretch it, stretch it. And uh, the bigger brush you use, the better uh, it is to paint a large pieces of paper or if you be grown up, grow up and uh, you want to paint on canvas, if you paint on big canvases, like I do, I also use big brushes. Okay, so mine is done. So now, please take your silhouettes that you cut out. I keep, kept mine in the book, so they're flat. Mommy. Now, we need elephants and uh, the ground. You see, do you have a stripe of ground? 
So I place the ground at the bottom of the paper and I place elephants on top of it and make sure elephants legs they touch the ground so they don't look like they are floating in the air their feet should touch the ground next step please take your A4 paper with the cut circle so you have a circle in the middle so I place the circle uh, on top of the elephants so it should cover the whole black paper that we just painted and uh, do you see the elephants in the middle so you should have the same picture elephants in the middle and the rest is covered and uh, there, there's only trunks elephants trunks I prepare paint painted to take something plastic either pallet or a little container and uh, I squeeze a little a little bit of yellow in the container not much but not too little neither like around this this much mix this paint with a little bit of water but it's very important it's not too liquid because we're doing, making splashes and uh, depending on how runny your color is uh, the bigger splashes will be so we don't want big uh, too big splashes and we don't want them to be paint to be too dry neither so otherwise we won't make any splashes at all so to make how to control how much water you will mix uh, I can use a straw like a, in a way like I use a pep uh, I dip it in the water my water is black just because I washed my uh, brush in it I dip it in the water and I close this uh, this side with my thumb and uh, you see it uh, takes in the water inside it doesn't take well it's, it can't take too much water so it's easier to control how much water uh, you will put in the in the paint and now I release the thumb and water comes out you see I have just few drops of water in the in the container I mix this yellow paint with water to create the uniform yellow color and I take this yellow color not with the pay um, not with the brush but with the toothbrush do you all have the toothbrush with you it should be all covered with paint uh, I need some more I'm making funny noises. <laughs> funny noises. And I actually mix it with a toothbrush. So it takes in the color and the paint. And it's probably a good time to, if you have your gloves, uh, put one glove on your working hand, hand. So if you're right handed, put it on your right hand. Because we are going to use our thumbs. And uh, if you have spare piece of paper just put it on the side and before making splashes on your painting try it somewhere on the side so you better understand what's going on what will happen in the minute so you less chance you get, it gets spoiled so I'll try to make a bit of splashes here and I think it's it's working fine for me so I go back to my actual painting and uh, with with this finger I just uh, move it across the brush so the gra the brush uh, toothbrush releases the splashes they're quite fine splashes and uh, the important thing here is make splashes uh, mainly on the edge where black means uh, meets white Actually, to make it more fun, I, I want to add a bit of orange, just to make something a bit differently. Uh, I, at the previous painting we did with Sophia, we used only yellow for, for this moon, but I thought maybe we do it a bit 
differently this time. I just want to experiment with you and see what will happen. So I continue splashing. I think it's a moon and two elephants making a heart. Can you make a heart, Sophia? Mm -hmm. Can you show them a heart? How you make a heart? Yay! <laughs> oh, well done! Well done! That's a heart! Do you know what this, uh, the elephant's nose is called? Do you know what they called? Long noses. Trunk? Can you show how long the trunks are? Oh, this long! Very well! Very well. What do you know about elephants? They're small animals, so they're tiny animals. They're huge! Very big! So now, the, it's quite well covered. The moon is quite well covered with the paint. And um, carefully, I'm taking off a piece of paper, but I keep the rest. So take off only this cut-off circle. And now take this circle that you prepared, pull, place them directly on this, uh, on this uh, uh, place that we just splashed, like this, but don't touch it. So it should be very lightly floating, sort of floating above. Uh, take another container or take your palette, whatever you use, and take white paint and uh, blue paint. And, but take lots of white and very, very little, tiny bit of blue and mix them together. And don't forget to wash your toothbrush and uh, your paintbrush. They both should be washed together very nicely so they very clean so i took this much of white paint and tiny bit of blue paint and i mix them together so the color i'm making is very very light blue now i'm doing it on the black paper so elephants are there in place uh their silhouettes covered and the circle which covers uh, everything with yellow and orange what we've just done and they're making these tiny stars tiny. and they, again it's a focus on on the edges splash when you go splashing go over the edges don't splash in the middle yes do we need to add water to the blue color as well uh you can if it's too thick but um Try it on the side. If it's too thick paint, uh, it would be hard to splash. If the paint is too runny, the splash it would be too big. So just um, try it and see. Mommy, what are you doing? Does it look like a starry sky? Yeah. Yes. Do you see many stars here? Yeah. It's really dark. It's very dark. It's very dark. Is it night? Yeah. It's night. Wow. I want to sleep. Look, look how many stars. <gasps> stars. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And now we are going to lift it up together and see what what it looks like. Are you ready? I'm very excited. Yes, Sonia. Oh, you're tickling me. <gasps> Look. And the ground. Took off the ground. <laughs> and <gasps> elephants. Wow, I think it's a success. I'm Exciting, done. isn't it? You just, you draw nothing. You just splash around some paint of different colors. And when you li lift everything up, it like comes out as a real painting. Guys, what do you know about elephants? Do you know anything about elephants at all? Um, and also elephants and mammals like us. Well done. What, can they jump? No. No. Can they swim? I've got a cat. No. 
they can they in fact very good swimmers and uh, are they intelligent or stupid they are intelligent yes not stupid no <laughs> do you think they have good memory or bad memory do you think they have good memory yes very good they remember everything they can come back to the same source of water in many years um, do you think do you think they can lift with their trunk something twice as heavy as elephants with their trunks can they lift objects twice heavier as the elephants yes they can yes do you think elephant can leave uh, can lift uh, one small berry with their trunk? Can they sleep? Yes, they are very sensitive. They have trunks that are very sensitive. They can leave a tiny, tiny, small pieces of berries, uh, tiny, tiny, small berries, and even leaves and even rice. Do you think elephants are loving animals? Or they are very cold animals. They don't love anyone. They don't love. They love only themselves. Yes, sweetie. They are very They're loving animals they Yes. And how elephants show they love each other? Do you know? How do they show that they love each other? So now, how does does animal uh, elephant show that uh, one animal love another? Do you know? How? What do they do? How trunks. Yes, with the trunks. With the trunks, they hug each other. If we were elephants, we would have long, long trunks. And to show that I love Sophia, I would hug her with my trunk like this. Well, thank you so much, guys. I hope you all have fun. Uh, and have fun in the lesson and continue having a good day today. I uh, love your paintings. I hope it was not too difficult for you. Hope you learned something new today. If it was not as perfect as you wanted, you can always repeat it. You have all printouts, you know the process. Just do it again until it's uh, perfect. And uh, feel free to tell everyone about the lessons if they want to come. Everyone more than welcome. Love you all. Have a great day, despite the rain, and see you next week. Bye. 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 If you have enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. You may also join our live lessons, which we have on Mondays and Tuesdays. The link is in the description. Please also come to visit my website, where I exhibit my paintings. ipainting.pro Love to everyone. Stay home. Stay safe. Keep on creating.